Okay, everybody, my name is Lowell and welcome to the channel. So somebody sent me this link for 14 reasons why the Philippines is different from the rest of the world. So I thought this will be interesting. So let's jump in. Let's have a look at this one, shall we? Wow, that water. Holy moly. What if I told you there is a country where over 175 languages are spoken? People 175. Wow. People text more than anywhere else in the world, and boxing fights directly influence crime rates. Boxing it sounds fights? pretty much unbelievable, but it's all true in the Philippines. Okay. 14. There are more than 175 spoken languages. There are two official languages in the Philippines, Filipino, based on Tagalog, and English. Filipino is the most commonly spoken in pop culture language, and the government of the country uses English in their work. By the way, the Philippines are number five on the list of the world's top English-speaking populations after U.S., India, Pakistan, and the U.K. All this sounds pretty plain wow. and ordinary, but in okay. fact, the diverse linguistic groups living in the country use over 175 languages for their internal communication. Since many of them exist only in spoken form, it's impossible to calculate the exact amount. Okay, that's a lot of languages. I'm just trying to think of then how do you decide obviously the two official languages they say in there um filipino and english so i guess you just have the, the I'm, I'm just thinking about documents and stuff like that wow okay that's a lot of languages that's 13. a lot of languages their capital is the most densely populated city in the world the nation's capital, Manila, wow. and its 16 surrounding cities that make up the Metro Manila area have a population of 12.8 million people. During the daytime, this... that That's half of what Australia is. And Australia is the size of America. Holy... 12 million. This number gets way higher since many people come here to work. And while the number doesn't sound that crazy, wow, that was, take note that wow. all these people live and work in an area of 16.56 square miles. This makes the population density equal to 111,002 people per square mile. And that's five times higher than in Mumbai or Paris, for example. Uh, I think Australia is five people per square mile believe a hundred and ten thousand people good god that's a lot of people that's a lot of people um oh I, I i can't imagine that many people that's half of the population of australia living in one city example 12 they have churches in shopping malls Shopping malls aren't merely a place Wait, where you what? buy stuff for Filipinos. They are safe, air-conditioned community hubs with gyms, health clinics, concert halls, nightclubs, parks, and even wow. churches inside. Churches. So it's no surprise that they are the favorite place to meet up with friends for so many locals. And if I'm remembering correctly, isn't uh, I think the Philippines are a big Catholic country. Okay. Churches in a mall. Shopping center, we call them here. Okay. Okay. And three of the world's 10 largest shopping malls are located in the Philippines. They are Mega Fashion Mall of SM Mega Mall, SM wow. City North EDSA, and SM Mall of Asia. 11. Filipinos are the number one texting nation in the world. You already know Filipinos love meeting up with friends at shopping malls, and when they <laughs> can't see each other in person, they text. Wow, and okay. when they do it, they rarely limit it to, hey, how are you? In fact, they send about 400 million texts a day. And that's around 142 billion texts a year. It's more than the U.S. and Europe put together. Wow. What are they texting? If you're from the Philippines, what are you texting? Like 400 million a day. What are you, what are you texting? Like, who are you texting? Not exactly a little number for a country of 107 million people. 10. They have a unique form of transportation. If you visit Manila, you'll notice some interesting looking vehicles called <laughs> jeepneys. They are converted wow. U.S. Army jeeps that stayed in the country after ah. World War II. 
Filipinos wow, adapted okay. them to transport up to 18 passengers who jump on the jeepney going in their direction and ring the bell for it to stop. What are they called? Jeepneys. I like it. Okay. On the jeeps. Stop. Okay. There are about 50,000 jeepneys in Manila, and they all look different. With basketball wow. stars, cartoon characters, inspirational quotes, neon lights, and whatnot on them. Actually, they look pretty good. Imagine that driving around your city. That would brighten up your city. God bless our trip. Okay. So they, okay. Very bright. There are two major problems with jeepneys, safety concerns and pollution. They oh. produce huge amounts of black smoke. So hurry up if you want to ride oh, before they get okay. replaced with a wrap. Maybe not so good in your city. Okay, that's a little worrying, especially the safety. I mean, you got to be safe. The transit system. Nine. One of the islands has more volcanoes than towns. The Wait, Philippines what? are, without a doubt, a super scenic location. Among yeah, all the islands that are a part of it, Camigan sure stands out, with more volcanoes per square mile than any other island on the planet. The island is 14 miles long and 8.5 miles wide, and has seven volcanoes and five towns. And even though earthquakes and eruptions shaped it, volcanoes have been deep asleep since the okay. 50s, okay. so thousands of- Wait, did he say the 50s? The 50s ain't long ago. That's not... I'm thinking if you said 1750, okay, that's a couple of hundred years. Not not 50. That's only 70 years ago. That's not deep sleep. That's just napping. The tourists can safely visit the island these days. Mm, Eight. Okay. Their national flag has a secret meaning. The oh, national cool. flag of the Philippines has two bands of blue and scarlet okay. and a white triangle at the hoist with a yellow sun and eight rays each of them standing for one province of the country. The yellow oh. stars stand for the three largest island groups, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. What makes the flag really unique is that it can be reversed to declare a state of war. This happened during the Filipino oh. Revolutionary War of 1898 to 1901 and during World War II in 1941 to 1945. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Too bad if you accidentally display the wrong flag, but um, I like that. I like that fl when flags have those meanings, you know, kind of in the flag, obviously it means more. Um, so now when you see it, you know exactly what it's going to mean. The rays of the sun, um, the three flags, and obviously the colors as well. I wonder if the colors mean anything or they just kind of picked them. Uh, like I know like the Irish flag is for the Catholics and the Protestant and the white in the middle is meant to be for peace. So, you know, I wonder if the colors actually mean anything too. Seven, boxing directly affects crime rates in the country. How? What? How? Filipinos love boxing and are they crazy about their yep. most famous boxer, Manny Pacquiao. Yep. Whenever he fights, the whole country is glued to its TV sets. And according to the Philippine National Police, BN. I remember when he lost to um, an Australian here in Brisbane. I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. Jeff Horn, his name was, um, beat Manny. But um, I, I think the age difference and whatever else. But, yeah, I couldn't believe Manny lost to, to Jeff Horn. Manny's a great boxer. Great boxer. P, crime rates in the country drop significantly when he's in the ring. During his 12-round oh, fight okay. against American boxer Floyd Mayweather Jr. that went from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., not a single crime was committed in the whole Manila metropolitan area. It was basically the same Wait, during other what? major fights with the participation of the people's champ, Manny Pacquiao. Six, wow. a lot of Filipinos work abroad. It might be because of their okay. flexible and reliable character or the fact that they speak great English as a second mm. language. I, I used to work in aged care. We used to have a lot of Filipino workers, great workers too. Um, very, very nice um, people. But more than 11 million Filipinos work abroad. It's around 11% wow, of the population, million. and a hey. quarter of all overseas nurses in the world come from the Philippines. I, yep. Five. I can believe Their that. Their rice terraces yep. are the eighth yep. wonder of the world. Banawa rice terraces are the oldest in the world, wow. and were so smartly designed that they still bring a harvest of... I've seen a picture of that before. That's the Philippines. Hmm. I have seen... Man, imagine working on that. What a lovely view, but wow. Rice and vegetables, most of which get exported. 
And it is believed if all the terraces had been built end to end, they would stretch halfway around the world. Wow. Today, these places bring the country more money as a tourist destination than rice plantations, and thus uh, they play wow. an important role for the economy of the Philippines. 4. Wow. They produce a lot of coconuts. For years, the Philippines had been the number one producer of coconuts in the world. Okay. And even though the leadership now belongs to Indonesia, 153,532,000 oh, yeah, yeah. tons per year is... Tons. 153 million tons. That's a lot of coconut. That's a lot of coconut. Holy Still moly. an impressive number, isn't it? These coconuts are used to make anything oh, wow. from clothing to beauty products. Oh. Three. Uh, that's because you can get the coconut fiber. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense now. I was just thinking, you know, whole coconuts. I'm thinking, okay. The first European to visit the Philippines was Ferdinand Magellan. Oh, okay, yep. The legendary yep. explorer made the first record of the archipelago among the Europeans in 1521. He founded the first settlement in Cebu, and thus most of the area became a Spanish colony. This explains yeah. the fact that around 90% of the population are Christian, unlike most of the country's neighbors. In 1898, the Philippines went under U.S. rule and later, in 1946, became an independent republic. 2. That's a good. Filipino made the first karaoke machine. If you love okay. to sing along, you ought to thank Filipinos for your favorite pastime. I mean... Have you ever seen a Filipino sing karaoke? Oh my god. I think I'm I'm sure ninety-nine percent of the country sings amazing. Everybody we've reacted to has been amazing from the Philippines. It's crazy. The first karaoke machine in the wow. world was created in nineteen seventy-five by Roberto Del Rosario. He patented as the sing-along system, and even though there were some attempts to claim his creation, he still remains the only patent holder for the karaoke system. Okay. okay. System. I, thought, I mean, isn't karaoke Japanese? Maybe the the doing it is Japanese, but he invented the first machine. Okay. The population is extremely good looking. <laughs> Along with their love for boxing, texting, and shopping, Filipinos are crazy about beauty pageants. It might oh. be the years of American rule that gave them this love for competitive beauty, but the fact remains a fact. They have won in all major international pageants 15 times. Oh. There were four wow. girls crowned Miss Universe, one Miss World, six title holders of Miss International, and four Miss Earth crowns. The first official pageant was never, held... Never heard of Miss Earth. So, they must be in direct competition with um, Venezuela. I know Venezuela's won Miss Universe quite a few times as well within the country in 1908 and since 2001 it's not just about beauty but also for the promotion of environmental protection oh, good. would you like to visit the philippines or maybe you've already been there let me know in the comment section below don't forget to give this video a like share it with your friends and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life that was very interesting um a few bits and pieces, obviously, quite interesting. Interesting about the Manny, um, when he's boxing, you know, the crime rate used to go down. I guess that's direct correlation to how popular he was as a sportsman and as a personality. Um, interesting about the, the um, population of that city. You know, 12 million, 12.8 million people. That's ridiculous. Um, but I mean, when you've got a hundred and what was a hundred and seven million people in your country and your country is kind of split over, you know, a few islands, I guess they've got to go somewhere, don't they? You know, so, um, Philippines is very close to Australia. I think it's what, nine hours from here flying. Um, never been, but as I said, a lot of Filipino friends here in Australia used to do aged care. I uh, used to do a lot of nurses. I, I could understand that one quarter of the nurses of the world are Filipino. I could understand that. They have a great bedside manner too. So, um, And it doesn't surprise me about the, the karaoke machine. They definitely love their singing. They definitely love their singing, the Filipinos. The great singers too. Good God. Too much talent in that country. Um, but that was really interesting.
some of those um, pictures of the blue water and everything else. Ah, oh, looks amazing. Looks amazing there. So that was really interesting. That was very interesting. Um, learned a few things. Uh, first karaoke machine. That's interesting. I thought that would have been a Japanese would have invented that. Hmm. Inter and the languages. That language, 175 languages. That's... I wonder how... If you are Filipino watching this, let me know if you ever run into any difficulties with the languages. I guess... I mean, obviously, most people would probably be... Um, Duolingo, surely, you know, even if it's just English or, um, oh, 175. That's a lot of languages. That's a lot. That's a lot. So, um, I know we have a few languages in Australia, obviously, because of the, the immigration and everything, but I mean, our official language here is just Australian. So, uh, Australian, English. It's hard enough to speak English. Um, that was really interesting. That was interesting video. So let me know what you guys thought of it too. So let me know if you have any answers for those questions I asked. Uh, that'll be interesting to know. So guys, thank you very much for joining me today. Make sure you stay safe and I'll definitely see you in the next reaction video. Did you enjoy that video? Why not watch another one?